Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today I'm playing more Bloodborne. The healing church and the blood ministers who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters, but they have much to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. And so German again functions as a guide. Ascend he tells us to, to ascend Wooden Chapel. Chapel. From there, and we're gonna take his advice. So I made a mistake and I recorded like 12 minutes of this episode without voice. I was muted. So I'm doing this post voiceover. And then after the 12 minute mark, I'll be live again. We're gonna go back to the Cathedral World. And here we get the most nonsensical progression in a FromSoft game. There is a door in the cathedral here that's just opened now, for whatever reason. It's never explained why it was closed or why it is open at this point. This is the door. I'm gonna take the elevator up and then take it back down immediately. Where I will fail. <laughs> to take the freaking hidden passage but we'll go back up and then back down again always send the elevator down so it's ready we can see the staircase that leads up to the cathedral where Amelia is And here we're above the wooden lamp, the cathedral world lamp, and we can find our first rune. The formless wooden. A secret symbol left by Karil, uh, the great one wooden, lacking form, exists only in voice and is symbolized by this rune. Those who memorize it enjoy a large supply of quicksilver bullets. Humaners know the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade and the essence of the formless grade one Uden. Both Uden and his inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek the precious blood. So, uh, runes are essentially the voices of the great ones, I guess, the word of the great ones. And hunters, I guess make an inscription of it, of it in their brain or something to gain bonuses strength we're gonna go back up this elevator and we're gonna send it back down, always careful here and in the bridge ahead there's a, a couple of shooters. We're gonna find the second room here. Communion. Uh, several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. I don't think there is anything I need to say about this. You all understand the parallels between communion, blood ministration, the healing church. I think it's pretty obvious. You need to run on this bridge. So you don't get shot. And then there is a, a few guys in here. There is one right to the left. That's why I dodge back. And there is also a sniper that's almost invisible, depending on your brightness level. Uh, 
I have upped the brightness a bit uh, for YouTube reasons. So uh, I meant to go up here, it's faster to go up first, it's a dead end. But for some reason I thought I could grab the Wandering Nightmare first. And of course well, that didn't work. I had to fall down. So this, this is the Wandering Nightmare and then yeah. Which is okay. I mean, eventually you want to come here. So this is my favorite part about Souls games, right? Everybody's favorite part, platforming. There is two ways to drop here. One is for items, the other there is a door. I don't know if you can see it, where I'm showing right now. We want to drop there. And the way to do it is to align yourself with those cables or ropes uh, right ahead of us. You can just roll here don't do what i did when you're standing here just roll forward and it's fine i for some reason decided <laughs> to make it hard for myself but okay we did it and then we go to this door Which leads us to another FromSoft favorite, the physical location of the hub of the game. So this is the old workshop. It is uh, the physical location of the Hunter's Dream. We find the doll set here. You can dress up as a doll if you want. <laughs> A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. I don't think the... yeah, it says the same thing. And then we find the old hunter's bone here, on the same grave that you can find the doll mourning sometimes. This is an arcane item, the first you can find. It teaches you, allows you to use quickening. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is more appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch, who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old, an old art from his remains. So this allows you to dodge more often. It gives you a few more iframes and you are invisible during your iframes. It lasts for like 10 seconds or something and it uses 2-3 bullets or something like that. It's not really useful against uh, normal enemies. You can use it in PvP to kind of confuse your opponents. Uh, what's more interesting about it is that all, all the old hunters you encounter can use this without actually using the item. They just have quickening. When they dodge they become invisible for a bit and then they reappear. And it seems to be a technique that the first hunters, the old hunters, uh, were using, like German and Maria and... And here we find the third umbilical cord. Uh, there are four of these in the item, in the game, you need three uh, to get the true ending. I mean, it's a secret ending, but technically it's the true ending. You need to consume all three. Uh, a great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with a pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. I love this phrase, uh, used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside. This is very lore heavy, every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. Again, the parallels between, I don't know, Jesus maybe. And the third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with a pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. So, it lets us know how the hunter's dream came to be. Uh, somebody used this, he came in contact with a pale moon, the pale moon is a great one, the moon presence, 
it's hard to understand because it's not capitalized, because its name is not actually pale moon, it's the moon presence, but this is what they mean. And then uh, pale moon beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunters' dreams, so made this safe space out of reality, right? The hunters' dream. Now, past Simon took a little more time explaining this because I do not rehearse stuff. And I was just talking and walking around. Bear with me for a moment. We're gonna pick the, the ornament now. A small hair ornament. We need to get this to the doll, obviously. A small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against the head of grey's hair. So there is no backyard here. I wanted to show the differences uh, between the Hunter's Dream and this place. There is no backyard. And then there is a, a weird thing. If you come over here, you can hear the laughter of some NPCs and some maniacal mumbling. Uh, Illusory Wall made a video, I think, on this. I think it was Illusory Wall, where he and his viewers uh, found out it's an NPC from the Cathedral Ward uh, that's on the other side of the map, and there is no reason why you can hear them here. Probably a bug. I don't know. It's funny, though. There are not a lot of bugs in this game at this point. And here, after I give the ornament to the doll, I'll realize I am muted. I will fix my microphone and I will return to properly current self voice. I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel a yearning, something I never felt before. What's happened? Tell me, Hunter. Could it... <sighs> okay, so this is current me, no longer past Simon. I'm gonna go back to the cathedral world. And we're gonna go up to the workshop again. I knew better, I don't know why I charged him like that. I definitely knew better. Oh, come on. Bra. Attack me. There's another guy with a gun here, so be careful. Oh no. Oh, we need just a little bit more damage to be able to one shot these guys. Two. Three shot against these guys. He's not alone, so. You're better off going around, pulling the fat guy back. I guess he's big, not fat. And then, if you want to get bullets out of these guys, you should be careful. Uh. Yeah, just, I mean... You can risk your life to get a couple of bullets, but... You're better off just sending them flying.
I don't quite recognize where that is. Oh no, I know where that is. Yeah, yeah. It's the path that leads to the amygdala. Yeah, we're gonna go there later. Or one of the amygdalas. I'm not very clear on the whole amygdala situation. I think they're all amygdalas. All the monsters. The old ones that look like amygdala. Is there there's another one? Yeah yeah. He got stuck on this coffin. Got the ran radiant sword hunter buds. Uh, one of the buds is crafted by the healing church. The radiant sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as holy blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. Get some quick silver bullets. And this is locked. We need the upper cathedral ward key to progress that way. So that leaves only one way to go. And that's back down. Here. We got the Wandering Nightmare, it's usually right over there. Now, you can fall without taking damage here, but I occasionally fall all the way down trying to do that. It's better to just take some damage. Okay, and now we're gonna fall in a manner that we can get all the items. So we'll first drop here. Then I think it's... Wait, this is the easy way to do it. Yep, drop here. Got that, and then there is another item right below us. This is not my favorite part of FromSoft games, but you do what you gotta do. I can't see shit, and I don't remember, so. Do we not have any signing coins? Oh shit. That would be very useful. I think I just walk off here. Okay. I wanted to throw a shining coin and see how far down it would go. Okay, there is a beast here. He's not like the other beasts. I'm not gonna show you, I'm just gonna visceral him. But he's uh he only exists here and in the Chalice dungeons. He has uh, ram horns or something. And we get beast. This is a passive way to get beast wood that I was explaining on a previous episode. And the transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast. The bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Karel runes as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. So yeah, you can see he has horns, like a ram. I mean, the item says he's supposed to be in the labyrinth, right? I have no idea what he's doing here. <laughs> and I have curses. And I have to remember. Will you say, friend? <laughs> okay. You wanna go this way? 
There is a pilot here. <laughs> oh, come on. Got the ramp with Yarnam stuff, but did we pull the dog? No. No, I think we're on the clear. Common Yarnam Cup. <laughs> well worn and losing its shape. Well worn and damp with sweat. Yeah. Disgusting. There's a dog here. Oh, come on. So there is a snatcher here. You don't want to die to this guy. He'll take you for a trip. They're pretty easy to beat if you know what you're doing. You just want to... Do enough damage to them to trigger them going into phase 2 Which prompts them to just stand still for a while and then you can do this again <laughs> Now this one we get for free because we come out from behind him But we get more fights against them, I'll show you what I mean Let's go kill these guys quickly. But we don't want to leave yet. That's the way out. That we want to take. But not yet. I don't think there is another NPC we can talk right here. No, there isn't. And the path the dog was on leads right here as well. So we're just gonna go this way. Uh, this guy is still inside. They're weak to thrust. In general, you don't want to let them grab you. Oh no 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 no! God damn it! Oh, he failed the grab for some reason. I'm stupid. Well, I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> you see, it's just stolen to inside. And now he's got this thing on his head. No, no, not again. And here we get the first fire blood gemstone. This is essentially where arcane builds get started. It just gives uh, arcane scaling and fire attack damage to your weapon. So we're gonna take this elevator and it will lead us at the one of the entrances to the cathedral world. But we're on the other side now. Oh. For some reason I thought I would stagger them. So we're at the top of this staircase that leads right back to uh, Uden Chapel. This is Uden Chapel. Now there's a stealthy ladder here. <laughs> I must have missed it for my first five or six playthrough. You get the numbing mist. This is an item that allows you to stop healing. Guess for PvP. Said to be used by the blood hunters of Cainhurst. Its recipe is a secret closely guarded by the line of nobles inhabiting the castle. Alright. You wanna drop? This is another decorative item. 
I don't think there's anything else. There is a bug you can do. I think it's here. Where you jump out of bounds. And you get a weird top-down camera and stuff. Why do I keep... Come on. I keep forgetting I can't stagger them. So now we actually want to open all the doors that lead to this area. So we can let Eileen progress her quest. Oh, come on. There's a sniper on the other side, but he doesn't often react to you being here. Yeah, he's just sitting there. But this guy does. Bye-bye. Well, might as well. I never learned. I, I told you guys, you just need to stand behind him once and then just walk around him. You don't need to dodge, you don't need to... But now I've screwed it up. And I suffer. Gonna get some more blood wheels. Now, you can go up here, kill the boss. I mean, behind that big door up there. And I think that's probably what the game wants you to do, but we are not doing that. I thought I had enough time to both uh, party and kill the other guy, but obviously not. There's a few things we are going to do actually before we go in there. There is a dog here. Don't go for the door without killing him. Oh, come on. We need to open this door. Uh, there is absolutely... Well, there is something, but it's not very useful. This is just a way back from a future shortcut. Or you can take the shortcut now and do it the other way around but I guess it's not a shortcut it's just a loop around okay so go behind him do no just one attack come on camera please do not look on just walk behind him Okay, he's having a, a stroke or something. Alright, another one. Do not lock on. Oh, that was unexpected. Please. Do the attacks I want you to do. I'm so bad at Bloodborne today. These enemies kinda annoy me. I prefer strong enemies that I can parry, essentially. And do visceral on them. I find these brutes lacking 
Sophistication. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 no, 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 no. And that's our first death, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I forgot this guy has a flame sprayer. Okay, we're back where we were. I killed the giants. Gonna pick up my echoes. Oh, that's not my echoes. Does he have them? Where is he? No, 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 no. What are you doing? You silly goose. Where are my echoes? She killed me right here. Oh. Okay. This is the door that you normally open with a handkerchief emblem. If you buy it from the shop. We're just gonna open it now. Okay. You can point at me all you want. So if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Might you know of a safe place? The night is long, and a very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Uh, we're gonna send you to the chapel. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> I don't think she has oh, anything to add. Yeah, yeah. And then there's this guy. You! You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt? What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I'll think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. <laughs> Can I just say I love this NPC? I mean, he's very annoying, but the way he speaks and his mannerisms, I guess. He's a very in it kind of guy. Ah, oh, enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast sons. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. No why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> uh, all right, what crafty lies does the outsider have today? Do you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. So this guy is going to do the exact opposite of what you tell him to do. So if you send him to Wooden Chapel, he'll go to the clinic and die a miserable death. And if you send him to the clinic, he'll go to the chapel and be saved. A lot of people will be <laughs> inclined to send him to his death, but I'm going to save him. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. Okay. What? Still prone on folks with your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. Yeah, yeah. Huh, yeah, it's out. Okay, so that's done. A couple more survivors found.
Now there's enemies there. That's why you see me hesitate. I was gonna pull him, but there is also... Oh. I had forgotten about that one. Oh, uh, what? No. That was a party. I refuse to believe. What are you doing now? Then there's a... Ah, oh, come on. And here we get the black church stuff. A tire of healing church hunters. Most healing church hunters are elementary doctors who understand the importance of early prevention of the scourge, achieved by disposing of victims and even potential victims before signs of sickness manifest themselves. Their black attire is synonymous with fear and that peculiar Yarna madness. The holy shawl, symbol of the healing church, flutters proudly on their backs. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, we have the deepest gratitude for the church and all they do for us. Sus. The deepest, wisest. Gratitude, yes. <laughs> Very yes. sus. I don't think she says anything else. Uh, oh. Yeah. Then there's this guy knocking his head against the door or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then the best of our country. Best luck of all. <laughs> <laughs> And then the <laughs> shit smashing continues. Okay, that bullet passed right through me. It should have hit me. I mean, I'm fair. Call it as it is. Yeah, okay. This other guy doesn't seem to care to join. There's more. Don't quite understand why they're being so passive in there, but okay. Maybe. I can get a backstab. On both of them. Oh. Marvelous. I'll have to clip that. Okay, there's nothing else here. We can go up. There, there is a crow there, and there is another one of those uh, brain suckers somewhere down there. But we can't get to them from this elevation. I have to go around. A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. The sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. Okay, so you, you, to get to Bergenworth we need some kind of password. Which is the sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. This is that uh, rooftop. See that? He's dead. I forgot to pick something up here, I think. Yep. Okay, so we went all the way down and we came up back there. So it stands to reason that if we go here, we'll be where that crow and the brain sucker are. I drew the wrong guy, didn't I? Yep. 
That's not what I wanted. And I can't hit him through the coffins, it seems. Come on, then. Oh, he's gonna be annoying like that, huh? <laughs> I'm quite sure what is happening with this one. He knows I'm here, he won't let me just walk behind him. Oh, come on. The camera is going bonkers here. Going in. I mean, what is this? Come on, FromSoft. Come on, FromSoft. What is this? And right here is where we kill those other guys. We can drop here, but we don't need to. Oh, there are some shining coins. And if we go further down here, we'll be asked of that password. I guess it's not too far now we can go. So you can all witness. The password. Okay. He's, uh, I, I don't know if you can actually hear that on YouTube. Password. He doesn't do it again? Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, the first time he says something about having to guard the door or something. It's not very clear what he says, but he's mumbling something very fast. So, again... We are left with no choice but to go up towards the cathedral. There is no other way around here. We cannot go to that door, through that door, unless we find the password. So the only way is towards the boss, but... We're gonna do... Everything but going to the boss again. We're first gonna go this way. The cathedral ward is pretty central on the map, I guess. It gives access to various different areas. This is another way to a dead end, but we can get some good stuff if we go this way now. So you can see there is a guy with a tonitrus there. He's not alone. There is another one down there. You can see them. There's some crows on that rooftop that you don't need to care about. We'll just drop here. Be very, very quiet. And we're gonna get some rabbits. Now, if you pull him back after doing that, you shouldn't alert the other guy. He's obviously gonna try to lure you over there. We want him to come back here. Uh, he can get stuck in this terrain here. And then he cannot run back to his friend. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! He's using the iframes to their max potential. Come on. some quick silver bullets now we're gonna be very very sneaky again
He's got it on nitrous, so he hits a bit hard, but he doesn't have a weapon. I mean, uh, a gun. Oh, come on. Oh, go on then. Then we realize. Yeah, it's much simpler when they cannot spam you with a gun. Got some bolt paper. It gives... I mean, you understand what it does. It gives bolt damage to your weapon. Invented by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the healing church workshop artificially recreates the blue sparks that are set to surround dark beasts. Unlike the other strange weapons created by Archibald, this, was, this one was favored by many hunters. In particular, those who had even once laid eyes on a dark beast. Bless us. Bless. Yeah. They're all going insane here. So you're gonna go here first. There is a wandering nightmare. And then you wanna go down here, but only for a little bit to get this other wandering nightmare. Oh. And then you can keep going forward, but that would be a pain in the ass. You're better off going around. Gonna go this way. There's one of these guys here. Oh, that's the best. When he does that, just. Oh, God, I wasn't fast enough. When he does that, you want to charge all the way and use it to get behind him. He will pull you in and you can use it to close the gap essentially. Okay, so that's the skill that he's going to do once he, once he gets to 75% HP and you wanna abuse that to get a backstab, which we didn't this time. And now he's actually dangerous, if you're not careful. He does a lot of damage. And if he kills you, he'll get snatched, which is not nice. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Where did I get stuck there? Yeah. Oh, come on. The second one was definitely a party. Are you for real? <laughs> Can we please? Can we please? Okay. You know what? Uh, I'm not doing enough damage. Okay, that did not go as planned, but it's okay. What you want to do, uh, instead of speaking to your viewers, is run like crazy and he'll cast the thing that pulls you in. And when he does that, you roll and now you're behind him. And you get a backstab and you just finish him off with a couple of hits and viscerals. I'm gonna drop here. There is a couple of gunners. If you went the other way, you would not be able to get them. You would be right here, essentially. Oh no, the other way. The other side. Right here. And they would be shooting at you. Now, there's a couple of wandering nightmares down there. So you don't wanna rush down there. You wanna pull these guys back. Oi. You come, you know what? Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Every damn time. We wanna pull the other guy all the way back here now.
You can see one of them is right where my hat is pointing. Oh, what is he doing? What? Bruh. Come on, what are you doing now? I don't wanna come down there. That's a trap, I can see it. Completely broken AI or something. Uh, let's try this again. Let's... Oh, come on. Give me a break. Foolish blood. He drops foolish blood. Okay. Oh yeah, I think it's fixed. So you can see them. One is. Eh. Oh no! Do not. Okay. Now here uh, you don't you can't do anything yet besides die needlessly. Gonna grab a lead elixir. I think it's the first one we get. No, temporarily shifts weight. No, there's nothing of importance here, right? Yeah. We're obviously a bit under leveled for this area, but the twin bloodstone shards are worth it. Definitely. Well, I'm thinking now, normally I would push forward now to Hemwick Charnel Lane. Char Hemwick Charnel Lane. But there is no uh, lamp nearby. So I'm just gonna. Reawaken because we need to cut the episode here. And we're gonna skip Amelia on the next episode again, the boss fight for this area. And we're gonna go to Hamwick Charnel Lane, or however it's pronounced, so we can get our rune workshop thing and uh, equip runes. So, thank you for joining me. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.